This is 2022. We don't do lower third tutorials anymore. We do crazy stuff. Trinity typography. You know, you got to keep up with the times because if you don't, these Gen Zers will put me out of business. Hey, what's going on, internet? Josh Noel. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you're interested in creating a handful of helpful techniques when it comes to typography that's out of the box. Actually, we're creating a box of typography. So let's break down this beast and let's get started. Alrighty, here we are in After Effects. Feel free to download our project files if you want to use this as a template or you want to break it down and copy the exact settings. So here we are in our tutorial comp. This is a 1920 by 1080 comp and we already have a black title in here. And feel free to copy my font and settings here uh, for what we're doing. So once you have a title in here, let's go to uh, layer uh, new solid. We'll create a quick little background. We'll make sure this is a white one, click OK. We'll bring it underneath here. Great. So then what we want to do is go to a layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll go to effect, uh, stylize, and we'll grab CC vignettes. So then what we want to do is we'll take these three layers here. We'll go to layer pre-compose and we can call it title, bottom, top. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use it for the same. Click OK. All right. So then we'll go into that composition by double clicking on it and we'll go to composition, composition settings. Our goal here is to bring down the width and the height to kind of close in around that title. So we want to be able to see the title uh, and we'll be going back and forth for adjusting these settings. So you'll see why we're doing this if you've never done a seamless title before. So we'll leave it at this and click OK. So we'll go back to our main composition here and here's what we have. OK, so we'll take our title here and we'll go to effect, stylize and we'll grab motion tile. We'll come here to the output height. We'll go ahead and increase this. Be a big number. It doesn't matter. Then what we want to do is enable motion blur and turn this into a 3D layer. And we hit R on keyboard for rotation. And we'll come here to the X rotation and set this to negative 90 degrees. Then we'll hit P on keyboard for position and we'll bring down the Y position like this. Okay. So we might need to continue to increase the output height. It doesn't really matter too much. So now we can take this layer and go to edit duplicate and we'll hit P again for position and we'll bring this one above our scene like so. Feel free to copy my Y position values right here. So then you'll see that our top layer here is kind of backwards. So what we can do is go to layer transform flip vertical and now we should be able to read it from left to right as it's supposed to be. So moving on to the next step, you know, you might think we need to go ahead and create the sides here, but I actually want to create the camera animation uh, so we can have that going. So what we're going to do to do this is we'll go to layer, new camera, and we'll just use the preset, click OK. And then we'll also go to layer, new null object, and we're going to parent that camera to the null object. Then what we're going to do is hit PR and keyboard for position on that null, and we'll make sure this turn to a 3D layer as well. And we'll add a keyframe for position, and we'll move forward in time, maybe say two seconds, and we'll zoom into the scene by increasing the Z value. And feel free to copy, you know, my settings here and actually, you know, maybe I'll lessen up the approach here so we can like zoom in even more. So it's up to you how you want to animate the zoom here. So you just zoom into your scene, you know, as you see fit here. So there are a few camera settings here that I want to adjust. We'll open up camera one, go to camera options, and we'll add a keyframe for zoom. And what we're going to do is I'm going to set our zoom here to, let's say, 1400 right off the start, right? And then we'll come here to two seconds and we'll set this up to 2200, right? So here's what we have, and honestly, it looks terrible. There's so much wrong with this, but we can quickly fix this and make it look great. First of all, let's work on the animation. So we'll grab all the keyframes here and we'll hit F9 to make them easy, easy keyframes. So come here to graph editor, and all we're gonna do is select the bottom handles down here and just stretch these across to create this animation like this, and we'll do that for the zoom as well. And that's gonna help the animation by a lot. Then one thing I wanna do is adjust this motion blur here because it's just so much. I wanna go to composition, composition settings, Go to advanced and you'll see shutter angle. I'm gonna set this down to 50 degrees and that's gonna help lessen the blurriness of our motion blur, but it'll still be there. Now, another thing we might wanna look at here is the text is kinda of unreadable. I mean, if we look at my comp here, this is a lot more, you know, this is a lot easier to read, right? So what we can do is go into our title comp. So I'm gonna come here to our title stretch settings right here and set this up to 150% and the uh, width here and set this to 75%. I'll just go ahead and recenter my text and I'm going to adjust my composition size here. So I'll bring down the width and also increase the height by a little bit. And of course, make sure that your title is centered. So now everything is coming together. It's so much easier to read the titles. We have a great animation look in here. So now we can complete the sides 
uh, and even the back here. Before we move on, as you know, creating motion graphics can be challenging and time consuming. That's why we made over 5,000 templates to help you save time and produce amazing work under one subscription price. For example, you can preview templates, say from our pulse pack and click apply. Then you can change the template parameters and then you are done. So if you're looking to get an edge in your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Now let's jump back into our tutorial and create the sides of our box. To create the sides, let's just go ahead and create a new composition. Uh, you can use 1920 by 1080 to start off with and simply type out your text, preferably use white text here and then stretch out your title to say 135%. So it'll look good uh, in the final comp and then go ahead and create yourself a nice you know, blackish background like this and click OK. And so then once we're done, we'll come here to uh, composition, composition settings, and then we'll just do the width and height here, crunch down on our uh, word like so. OK, so when we're happy, we'll click OK and we'll go back to our main comp, come here to our project panel, bring in that comp we just created. There it is. Uh, so then let's set this to a 3D layer. Make sure you turn on motion blur. Let's come to the beginning. And we'll hit R and keyboard for rotation. We'll come here to the Y rotation. We'll set this to 90 degrees. And then we'll hit P and keyboard for position. And we can just kind of bring this over to the side here for a second. Actually, let's make sure that the Y rotation is set to negative 90 degrees. That's my fault. And then what we'll do is go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab motion tile again. So from here, we'll go ahead and increase the output width. You can see those come out towards us and also the height. So that looks great. Now, what we want to do is roughly duplicate this, hit P and keyboard for position and bring this over to the other side. We'll come here to uh, layer transform, I believe flip horizontal, that was it. And then to match this up perfectly, cause I don't want to do this using my eyes. Well, we are gonna use our eyes, but we'll come here to active cam right here and we need to set this to front. All right, so you can kind of see how we're having a box here, but these don't match. So by using our eyes, we'll kind of move over the X value and see how those kind of line up. And we'll do this to the other side, we'll move this over to the left and match it up perfectly. So, you know, you can roughly copy my settings if you're using the same title as mine. So then once this is lined up, we can go back to our active camera one. And after a quick RAM preview, here's what we have. And that's looking really good. All right, to create the back here, cause we're missing, you know, probably want to put something back there. So we're just not staring off into whatever that is. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a solid for ourselves. So you can make it, I would prefer to make it the color of the sides. For example, click okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and type out some text and then we'll take our two layers here. We can pre-compose it. You can call it back. Go ahead and turn it into a 3D layer, turn on motion blur, and then we'll hit PR and keyboard for position. And we'll come here to Z space. And if we push it back towards us, you know, we can kind of pop this nicely in place the best we can. So I'll kind of just use my eyes here. But our goal is we don't want to cut off in the middle of a word on the top and bottom. So this should be about good right there. And if you're interested in some extra camera settings here, if you want to loop this scene, uh, we can grab our position keyframes here. I'll click them and type in loop out, you know, like this and do uh, quotations, ping pong, make sure it looks just like that. Copy the expression, paste it onto the zoom. We can also add some camera shake. Uh, we can appear on our keyboard for the camera layer uh, and we'll all click the stopwatch. We can type in wiggle, open parenthesis, 0.5 comma, say 50 or whatever number you'd like to use. So we have this camera shake, we'll zoom into our scene and if it's a loop out expression, it'll pull us back out and you can render this out for however long you need it to be. Now, one other quick tip that I employed here uh, in my other composition, which you're welcome to do, is I actually added uh, some black solids along the edges here to help with the words. So you're welcome to do that. All I had to do was just create like a solid and just put it against the same X value against the wall in 3D space and just push it down there. So you're welcome to do that or download the project files if you wanna create uh, more of a black or white space, if you will, on the sides of your box crazy title like this. So now we can say we're trendy with this new title box animation. You can download our free packs for After Effects and Premiere Pro if you wanna get a handful of templates uh, for your projects. Those links are below. Thanks for watching and always be creative.